hey guys welcome back to my channel i have three amazing home decor diy projects using embroidery hoops if you're new and like what you see don't forget to subscribe here's a list of the items you'll need for the first project let's get started i bought this wood slab from home uh, depot and it's a two by one it was probably around seven dollars and I had them cut it for me to size I also purchased this stain from Home Depot as well to start what you want to do is just begin to stain the wood to your desired color staining once I put the first coat I made sure to wipe it off with a clean cloth this is my second coat and while that is finishing after I wipe it off I'm gonna start on the next part of the project I had some leftover embroidery hoops for this project. I believe this is the 12 inch. And the first thing I did was unscrew the latch from the embroidery hook. I took some needle nose pliers and pulled the wire backing off of each side. Once that was finished, I made sure to put some hot glue with my hot glue gun and piece together those two sides. I also took the E6000 just to give it a little extra reinforcement. Once that was finished, I purchased these dollar flutes. They came probably about five in a pack from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use the bottom of the flute and glue it to the embroidery hoop. That's what it looks like after it's glued on just to give you a better view. Once that dried, it was time to paint. I am using the Rust-Oleum Matte Black paint finish, and I'm just gonna paint all three embroidery hoops. make sure you get an even coat and let it dry first after it dried I brought it back in so that I can begin to glue it to the wooden slab I took some hot glue with the hot glue gun and placed it on the bottom of the hoop and glued it to the slab Here's what it looked like just to show you how they looked when all three was glued on. And here's the finished product. This turned out amazing. I was super shocked. It looked really good. I made it for my mom so I don't get to keep it. But she really loved it for her home. For the second project, here's the list of supplies needed. I bought these two wooden circles from Walmart. They were 97 cents each. I 
took some hot glue and placed it on the bottom piece of wood. And then glued the top piece to that portion. Next, I took these wooden blocks that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I placed it in the center of the wood circle and took another one just to give it a little extra height and placed it also in the wooden circle. While that's drying, I'm gonna start on the next part of this project. I took this embroidery hoop that I had left over and this metal circle tin that I got from the Dollar Tree. Placed some hot glue on the metal piece and attached it to the tin circle. Sorry guys that this is out of frame. But I just attached it on both sides to that tin circle. And this is what it looked like after it was glued on. Just reinforcing my glue to make sure it stays. With that same embroidery hoop in tin, I'm gonna place another embroidery hoop, a smaller size, and connect it also within that circle. I took the metal clasp, once I placed it, and interlocked it I took the metal clasps and put it back together once I had that in place I'm just gonna take the glue the hot glue gun and reinforce it so it stays at an angle. You wanna make sure it's tightened up and glued in place. Once that was finished, I took some glue and placed it on top of the block and attached the piece to it. And that's what it looked like before painting. All right, let's paint. And here's the finished look. This turned out amazing. I was so proud of this project. Here's the list of supplies for our last and final project. I purchased this lamp also from Home Depot. I'm gonna take my wood glue and take the foam brush that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and use the back of it. I put a dab of glue on the end and attached it to the wood slab. Next, I'm gonna take the embroidery hoop that I had left over, the one without the clasps, and glue that to the wooden slab using the wood glue. I took my heat gun just to ensure that it dried. I let that dry for about 20 to 30 minutes and once it dried, I took the same flute base and attached it to the bottom. I took my hot glue gun and placed it on the top of the flute base and attached it to the top of that foam brush backing.
once that dries I will then take it out for painting as well and here's the finished product this turned out amazing I hope you had a good time watching these three projects and I hope you'll feel inspired to try them out let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite and I'll see you guys next time bye